Stylists are a great way to connect with celebrities. The celebs are paying the stylist to help them style themselves. So this is a great opportunity to network with these different stylists. You are listening to Thrive by Design, business, marketing, and lifestyle strategies for your jewelry brand to flourish and thrive. Let's get started. Welcome to the Thrive by Design podcast, episode number 86. Hey guys, it's Tracy here over at Flourish and Thrive Academy. And here I am today talking about something that I've done in the past, getting your jewelry on celebrities. So, hey, I'm excited to talk about this topic today, and it's something that has come up over the years tons and tons and times. Do you invest time and money trying to approach celebrities and get your jewelry on them, or do you just blow it off? Does it really help your business? So, today, I want to talk a little bit more how to get your jewelry on celebrities for free. So I've been traveling a lot this spring. I was just in California at two conferences. In fact, as I record this, I'm in between conferences. I'm actually in Newport Beach, where I grew up, at my brother's house, hanging out, and everyone's gone, and it's quiet, so I thought I would record a podcast here. And I just got finished with a conference all about speaking, and a lot of you have told me, I think this is a funny story, I just want to share it here, (laughs) that I talk really fast, and I know that I talk really fast. And one of the topics that we talked about in Rock the Room, Victoria LeBaum's program, was to talk and speak more slowly when you're delivering information. Because a lot of times, people process things at different rates of speeds. And when you're talking really fast, it's hard for them to process the information. So this is going to be my first go around at trying to talk a little bit more slowly, but hopefully it's still exciting and fun. (laughs) With that being said, I'm excited to dive in, but I'm even more excited because we finalized our dates for our live event, speaking of conferences and events, and we're running Flourish and Thrive Live again this year in September, right at the end of Fashion Week. September 15th and 16th. It's a Friday and a Saturday. I'm super excited about it. We chose a really cool venue, which will be revealed really soon. And it's going to be really fun and a really interactive experience. So we're changing it up a bit this year, and we're going to make it more of a workshop implementation time so that while you're at the Flourish and Thrive Live event, we'll be obviously having our signature talks and be bringing in some great experts, but we're also going to give you time to actually start to implement what you're learning. So I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a really fantastic event. And We are starting early bird registration just for a really short period of time, and I wanted to share that with you. So if you're interested in hearing more about Flourish and Thrive Live and our event, make sure that you head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash FTA Live 2017. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash FTA Live 2017. Okay, let's dive right in because I'm sure you're wondering how to get your jewelry on celebrities for free. I know I was always curious about this. So a couple of months ago, I was like searching my computer hard drives and I found a picture of Charlize Theron wearing my earrings in 2009. And I thought it was such a flashback. You know, you you see these things, you do all this stuff in your body of work, and you end up having all these successes, and then you forget about them. And for those of you who don't know, my jewelry has been on a ton of celebrities. Some of the celebrities that have worn my jewelry have been Jessica Alba, Orlando Bloom, Halle Berry, Kate Hudson, Reese Witherspoon, Hope Davis, as I mentioned, Charlize, who's super awesome. I love her. She's gorgeous. And then tons of the American idols. Um, I had a really great relationship with the stylist over there. So it's fun because all these placements that I got, I never paid a dime for anything except for when I gifted the piece of jewelry to the celebrity. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but that was the really the only cost investment. And I was happy to give them a piece of jewelry because they were wearing it and I didn't have to pay to actually get on it. So you might have heard a lot about this pay to play thing with celebrities these days. I'm doing my hardest to speak slowly (laughs) because like, you know, not all of us have a Harry Winston budget, right? So some of us are, you know, we're starting out a business. We want to get that exposure, but we don't have a ton of cash to throw out at celebrities. In fact, we might never have that kind of cash and probably not because we don't have big money backing us to grow to multi-millions of dollars in sales or even billions if you're designing super fine jewelry. So we have to think about ways that we can get our jewelry on celebrities that are free. And I have some really great ideas here that I'm excited to share with you today because it's going to be, it's not really that hard once you kind of 
crack the code and figure out how to do it. So first things first, you have to be able to have some jewelry that you are willing to give away to a celebrity. You know, I said you can give your jewelry away for celebrities or get your jewelry on celebrities for free. There is a little bit of a cost because sometimes you're going to have to invest in the cost of the actual jewelry. So there is tiny little cost involved, but it really is worth it. And I've even had that experience when the celebrities asked to buy the work. So oftentimes, you know, if that happens, probably what you want to do is just give it to them for free or give them a wholesale discount, which I've done for several celebrities who asked to actually buy. The cool part is if you have your jewelry placed in the right places or in front of the right people, sometimes celebrities actually just buy it out of the case, which is great. I mean, they they have the money to do it, so they should be doing that. But, you know, there's sort of this weird thing that happens with celebrities when they want to get stuff for free sometimes. So in that case, you know, it was really cool because Halle Berry and Orlando Bloom both bought jewelry of mine out of the case over at ABC Home, which I feel so grateful for. So you never know. They might be buying it as well if you have the right placements. So here are a couple ways that you can get your jewelry on celebrities for free. First things first, you want to start in your local area. And now I know a lot of us are thinking about A-list celebrities or even B-list celebrities, but local celebrities are a wonderful place to start getting your jewelry placed. You know, I think that a lot of us forget that the power of community has. You know, if we're in a metropolitan city or even a small town, if there's a local celebrity wearing your work and they're wearing it all the time, they will start talking about your work. And that oftentimes gets you sales and gets you interest from other people in your town, from other people in your city, other people's, other people. (laughs) You get it. Oh my gosh, I, my brain is fried. So I've been uh, doing a lot of podcasts or recording a lot of podcasts and creating a lot of content. So my head's spinning a little bit. So forgive me if I don't use correct grammar. I think it's kind of funny. So you can do things like call up your local TV stations and get your jewelry on local newscasters or even morning shows that are local. And I know a lot of you have already done this and have had great success, but local press is a great way to start and getting those newscasters wearing your jewelry is a great place to get started. Also, other think of other types of local celebrities, too, because there's all types of celebrities in towns. It could be, you know, a well-known entrepreneur. It could be someone who uh, is a public figure in your town who is in front of people all the time. And another thing to remember about TV shows and newscasters is that they need uh, new clothing and new jewelry to wear all the time because they're changing their outfits. And oftentimes they don't repeat an outfit on the air. They want to cycle through. So if you can get them that favorite piece of jewelry or something that they're wearing with their with their new outfits or uh, things that can be rotated in and out, that's a great opportunity for you to get some exposure. The next step would be to network with stylists. So I've met stylists all over the place, sometimes at trade shows, sometimes just networking. Sometimes they've just reached out to me because they found me. So stylists are a great way to connect with celebrities. And I had a stylist that I work with. Her name was Orly. I'm not going to share her last name. So she doesn't want to get embarred with inquiries. But Orly worked with some great celebrities. She got my work on Charlize. She got my work on Reese Witherspoon. She got my work on uh, Michelle Williams. She also got it on Hope Davis for a red carpet event. Super, super great to work with her. And she hooked me up literally with about 90% of my red carpet and premiere stuff. So the celebs actually are paying the stylist to help them find new products, to help them style themselves. So this is a great opportunity to network with these different stylists. Takes a little bit of work to find them, but if you do your research and start following celebrities on Instagram, sometimes they give up the name of their stylist or they're taking selfies together. And, you know, I feel like Instagram is just a really great tool right now to be able to find some of these people a lot easier than it used to be. So don't think it's that hard. Just be resourceful and look for them. The next way you can get your designs on celebrities for free is to search for wardrobe or costume designers on IMDb. IMDb IMDb.com is a database for people in the industry. So you'll find actors on there. You'll find costume designers. You'll find wardrobe people. So make sure that you are searching for stylists, wardrobe, or costume designers, and you can find the stylists of your favorite TV shows and movies. And this works really well. They shoot so many shows. They're always doing different looks. A lot of times these wardrobe and costume designers pop from shows to show, depending on how long the the run of the show is. You can find all sorts of people there. And they're always looking for a new product 
to put on the celebrities and to style them with. So this is a great opportunity because like, you know, I see a lot of designers saying like, my work was featured in the Vampire Diaries or I was, you know, on X, Y, and Z show. One of our designers, Brooke Mosher, who was in our mastermind a couple years ago, had a great relationship with the stylist on The Biggest Loser. And Allison, the host, would wear it all the time. And every time she wore a piece of the jewelry, she would get, Brooke would get a ton of sales on her website. So you need to uh, not only get those placements, but learn how to leverage it, which is probably a podcast for another time. I'll talk a little bit about that at the end. So it's a really great way. Check out imdb.com and you can search for stylists of your favorite TV shows. And that is a great way to get your designs on celebrities for free. Another thing that you could do is network with industry friends. So this is something that's interesting. You might be thinking, well, I don't have any friends in the industry, but think outside the box. You might know someone who knows someone who can connect you with someone, blah, 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 blah. So one of my great friends from growing up, uh, from childhood, I've known her since I was four years old, is the director of PR at Fox TV. And one day I was in her office, uh, we were at dinner and I was with one of her colleagues and I think I popped in, I'd popped in there a couple of times over the years. Uh, I can't remember specifically why I was in the office this time, but I happened to meet the woman who handled American Idol and um, her name is Jill and this was back in the day. And Jill, I happened to be friends of some of my friends. So we got to talking and, you know, we had all these commonalities in, in common. And she's just like, hey, why don't I connect you with the stylist over at Idol? And Miles, the stylist over at Idol, ended up working with me for many, many, many seasons. And he was really awesome. Every time they would be launching a new season and looking for a uh, wardrobe, they, he would always reach out to me. Can you send some more jewelry? Can you send some more jewelry? I have a new crop of guys this season. We're running out of the jewelry that you sent before or whatever. So I was talking with Maya Brenner about this as well. My Brenner is a friend of mine from back in the day, and she was so gracious to do a couple interviews with us back way back when. And she, you know, lives in LA and she met some of her, made some of her first stylist connections just at the shows that they had at her children's school. I'm not sure, exactly sure what to call it, but it was like a school fair or something. And a stylist had another kid in school there. She ended up buying a piece of her jewelry and it ended up great being a great way for her to meet and network with people. So don't think outside the box. Don't limit where you're finding these people because they're everywhere, you know, and this goes true for local celebrities and celebrities on a bigger scale. So there's lots of different ways that you can connect and network with people and actually find them. The next way, this is sort of like my fifth or sixth tip because there's been a couple of extras added in here, is to create relationships on social media with stylists, with your celebrities, and think outside the, the box of how you can start to connect with these people. So make sure that you're aligning your the people that you're reaching out to with the core values of your business, and make sure that you have developed a relationship with them online. So sometimes a really easy place to start is to think of, you know, I wouldn't go for like the top tier celebrities at first, like maybe start with some of those B and C level celebrities who are just sort of emerging, because oftentimes they're a lot more willing to and excited to have conversations and they're really appreciative of their early fans. So if you can create connections with them online, this is a great way for you to start building a relationship and eventually share what you do. So you want to comment, you want to engage on their posts, you want to regram what they're doing, you want to repost what they're doing, do some research, find out who their stylist is and start making those connections. So I would not, I would not do this. This is a really, really bad idea. Someone in our Laying the Foundation course posted this in their group a while back and she's like, I don't know why, but people keep unfriending me, but I keep doing this, you know, photographer will like my work or some sort of stylist and and I see who they are, I do my research and then I go in and send them a DM and say, hey, I designed this jewelry, do you want to look at it? That's, that's too soon. Soon. You need to develop their relationship first, create an authentic relationship with those people first, and then start to have conversations with them in the comments. And then when it feels appropriate, you can move that over to a direct message and hopefully you can get some jewelry over to them. And then I also want to remind you that this is sort of my final tip for getting your work on celebrities is that you really want to think outside of the box. Celebrities come in all shapes and sizes. And I think we forget that a lot of times celebrities are, you know, could be a really famous entrepreneur who has 200, 300, 400,000 followers. It could be uh, an entrepreneur who has, you know, fewer followers. It could be a public speaker who's in front of audiences all the time wearing your jewelry. So think outside the box because they come in all shapes and sizes. They might be mentors, entrepreneurs that are high profile. They get in front of your ideal clients all the time. And 
I have to say this because I've repeated this over and over again, but I bet you anything that a high profile entrepreneur is going to get you a lot more sales than placement on a celebrity necessarily would, like a traditional celebrity in the way that we think of it. You know, when I think of Marie Forleo, who was like one of my first girl crush super fan thing, when I first sort of found out about online business and internet personalities and internet sort of entrepreneurs. And I'm friends with Marie's stylist, Elsa. And Elsa was telling me that people email her all the time asking what Marie is wearing. So you never know like where these people can come from. Create relationships, you know, ask her if you have a mentor who's high profile, ask them to wear your work. Network in local groups. You know, you never know. These high-profile people can be in a lot of different places hanging out. So Robin always talks about BNI meetings, BNI, Business Networking International, and uh, Chamber of Commerce meetings. Those are great places to meet other entrepreneurs or people who are networking for business, and you never know who they might know. So think outside the box because celebrities come in all shapes and sizes. And then another way that you can get your work on celebrities, you know, this isn't a free way to do it, but it's a lower cost way is you can join more indie groups that are supporting indie designers like the artisan group. The only thing about those kinds of groups is that you have to pay an enrollment fee and then a monthly fee to be part of the group. But they do hook you up with gifting suites, with getting your placements on celebrities and getting your work in front of people that are actually going to be wearing it and showing it. But you want to make sure that you're choosing the right platform first and foremost, and then it's a good fit for you and your brand. You don't just want to blindly pick one of these things because it could end up costing you a lot of money. So let's talk a little bit more about some mistakes that people make. I don't know about you, but on a regular basis, I get emails from, they're like kind of spam emails from people who are hosting gifting suites. And they're like, oh, well, the Emmys are coming up or the Grammys are coming up and we're having a gifting suite with Alicia Keys and it's $5,000 to participate. Or if you want to do the high level one, it's $10,000 to participate. Well, I hate to break it to you, but those suites are a waste of money. Oftentimes you're just sending a bunch of product uh, you might be required to fill 500 gift bags and, you know, the, the celebrity might pick it up and pull it out, but there's no guarantee that they're going to wear it. So I would much rather have you network with a stylist or create those really authentic personal connections on your own because joining those gifting suites are, unless you're like a bigger brand, are really kind of a waste of money. It's really for once you're ready to play a bigger game. That's not something I've ever participated in on that level. I have done a few gifting suites, but I can honestly say that they've never resulted in any sales. And I, I don't, it's not part of my plan now or even in the future. I don't think it's something I would ever do. So I wanted to share that with you. So I wanted to finalize this podcast and talk a little bit more about what you can do to sort of leverage those celebrity placements, because that's the most important thing. So now that you've done this work, you've, you've networked, you found some local celebrities maybe, or you found you know some stylists and they're getting it on an A-list celebrity or a B-list celebrity, whatever it might be, or you're networking over at IMDb and you found some wardrobe designers who are going to place it on the hot a hot new pilot that's coming up. Once your product gets placed, I want you to think about how you're going to leverage it because just having your jewelry on a celebrity is not necessarily going to result in sales. You need to take what you've done and actually feature it. So in certain cases, you might have to have permission to use the photo or actually buy the images from Getty. It really depends. So I would check with the stylist or whoever you work with to see what the rules are or how you can leverage that image. You might have to get permission. But when you do, and this is the same thing when you get placements in a magazine or on a blog or on a, you know, influential Instagrammer, use that image and that celebrity on your social media and promote it like crazy. So you can send it out in your newsletter, you can feature it on your blog, you can feature it on all your social media channels. Make sure that you're leveraging that placement like crazy. That's really, really important. And You know, I'm always trying to help you out. So I wanted to give you just a great little download checklist so that all these things are sort of easily listed out for you. You don't have to think about it. How cool is that? So I'm going to recap all these ideas. It'll be the Get Your Jewelry on Celebrities for Free download. You can grab it. I'll sort of summarize the ideas and uh, give you sort of like somewhat of a checklist so that you can just keep this resource at the ready when you need it. I hope that really helps. I'm really excited to see how you start leveraging these ideas and getting more celebrities wearing your work. So I want you, as we end this podcast, first and foremost, I want you to download the resource, but I also want you to do something really fun. When I was starting out, I always, you know, I'd always envisioned my work being on celebrities and I didn't know how to do it. I was fearful to reach out and all that stuff. 
And I had this fantasy board or a vision board, whatever you want to call it, of the celebrities that I wanted to get my jewelry placed on. So I really want you to take some time. You can do it right now as you're listening to the podcast and press pause, or you can come back to this later. I want you to write 10 dream celebrities that you would love to get your work on. And they, these can be A-list celebrities. These can be entrepreneurs. This can be any kind of celebrity, anyone that you would have a fantasy of getting your work on. Then I want you to think about your brand and your core values and what you stand for and start to think of celebrities that align with that. You can do a little research and start seeing like, you know, if you uh, are a designer for a cause or you're an advocate for something special, think of people who are in alignment with those core values that you carry and hold and start to seek them out because that's really, really important. It's a great way for you to actually start connecting with those people. So make a list check it twice, and then start doing research. Where are those people hanging out? Who are their stylists? And make a list and get this thing going because it's really not that hard. And I encourage you once again to start local and start with people who don't have such a hard barrier to cross because that starts to build traction so that you can really build your acumen of you know social proof and celebrity placements. Because that's the one cool thing about getting your work on celebrities that really does validate your brand in a way and offer you social proof. It's not necessary to have a successful brand, but it does add validity. So think about it that way. All right, you guys, I hope you're going to join us for FNTA Live. It's such an amazing event. It's being hosted in September, right after Fashion Week ends. It's uh, September 15th and 16th. Robin and I are super excited. We have a great lineup. A couple of the people who are already slotted in right now are our mastermind coaches. We have Sabina Hitchin, who is an amazing PR expert. She's going to teach you so much about pitching and sort of expanding on this idea of how to get in front of celebrities, et cetera. We have Kathleen Cutler joining us. She's going to be doing Facebook ads training and digital marketing training. Very excited about that. It's going to be insane. And then we have our business gurus, Inta Ivins and Marielle Diaz, who will be joining us as well. I am thrilled. It's going to be a great event. We're really looking forward to supporting you. And remember that at the end of the day, Robin and I want to make this easy for you to start implementing what you learn into your business. So this is going to be a really interactive experience where you're going to actually be able to take what you've learned and kind of workshop it and start taking action on some of those things and getting feedback from your peers. All right, you guys, I am thrilled not only for Flourish and Thrive Live, but to be here and head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash free celebrities. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash free celebrities to grab your download. Make sure that you check it out now. It'll also be listed in the show notes. So no worries. This is Tracy Matthews signing off until next time.